friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Example of mixing of fluids using SolidWorks flow solution. This one I am doing with the requisition of one of my subscribers in my channel. So model you can see here itself, uh, it is a tank. It will be filled up with air and from our side we'll be mixing some kind of different fluids and we'll see the path of the fluids, how it will be mixing and at, at a certain time, what will be the volume fraction of different fluids. We can check it using the SOLIDWORKS flow solution. Okay, so we're doing this one. First of all, we have to save this one with a specific name. Let's save it with the name of like a sub one we have saved already. So our model is ready. With the tools we have already provided, let's so you can see that like closed volume is already provided inside. Okay, right. So we're starting. First of all, what we have to do is for generating one flow solution environment, and that will be done using wizard. We are doing and the default name of the project we are giving us so project 2. Next, we have to go to the unit system. The so unit systems we are considering here is like SI systems we are considering, and the thing is the like temperature will be taken as degrees centigrade, and pressure will be considered as bar. So moving to the next step and the thing is so definitely it will be an internal analysis and the thing is like we can consider heat conduction in solids and it is a transient analysis so it will be definitely dependent on time so we're considering the time dependency of 10 seconds and that is output time steps will be 0 0.1 seconds that means up to 0 0.1 seconds the results will be saved. Now moving to the next step. And these gases were considering as like it will be air and let's select air, air and butane gas we're considering. Right. So moving to the next one and the things uh, we're considering the container to be made up of aluminium alloys that is aluminium c061 next uh, default out of work of conditions and roughness we're considering and the actual values will be provided during application of boundary conditions okay so moving to the next step and the thing is some other requirement is uh, the atmospheric temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade and the thing is uh, concentrations initial concentration we can see that inside the container it will be filled up with Butane, so its concentration will be 100%. Butane will be 1. And from outside, we'll be injecting air. So initially, the concentration of air will be 0. And the solid parameters like the container temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade as decided before. Done. So finishing and we'll starting these uh, different boundary conditions. Right. And this is our computational domain. So we can make it hidden and the thing is so the material has already been provided we can do it now so we, we don't require to apply material again now boundary conditions to be applied and i have told already before that if you want to apply boundary conditions in a better way it is always preferable to select the segmented view we can cut it from the front end and see the object in a better way done Now the things we have to apply boundary conditions like we have to provide the mass flow rate or volume flow rate at a specific rate from here itself. So boundary conditions we are applying insert boundary condition and we are considering mass flow rate. Let's provide the mass flow rate at a high rate. We are considering like maybe five kg per second. And thermodynamic parameters, we can select the temperature of that one will be 40 degrees centigrade. And substance concentration. 
uh, that means what we are providing from outside so it is already filled up with butane so the initial conditions will be butane and here in this case we are injecting air yeah, only so air yeah, concession will be one and butane will be zero right done and the location to be selected here right we are considering from here itself we are injecting air at a rate of 5 kg per second we can check done now the final one another bull is required that this atmospheric pressure at the exit end to be provided so boundary conditions again and insert boundary condition and we'll be considering that atmospheric pressure at the exit end so let me select that location of this atmospheric pressure select that location atmospheric pressure done brain check so boundary conditions have been applied now you can see the complete segment and view this is the complete view calculation control options can be selected here itself and from here saving options you can change it to uh, parametric transient explorer we can change it and the parameters will be considering as like a mass fraction of air and mass fraction of butane okay now we can select some goals also goals let's select the goals as global goals volume fraction average fraction of air and butane we are considering we can check now we can run it Okay, let's run it. You can see the iterations have already started here. Now it is preparing the model. Whenever it is finished, we'll see the results and analyze. The solve window has finished its calculations and we can see the results from here right now. Uh, first of all, we'll see the results in the form of cut parts. So insert cut parts. And what we see, and we want to see results in the form of volume fractions of butane, or we are both initially we will see volume fraction of butane, and we want to see it in the form of like vectors, and we can vary the vector parameters, and this one will bring the different vector lines very close to each other, and one thing more you want like want to increase the visibility let's say that so this is actually the flow right you can see better to see this one from this front view itself right now the thing is like we're going to show this in the form of some kind of animation also Cut pause. Let's play. This one showing the volume fraction of butane. Uh, by the same time, we can change it to volume fraction of air also, right? So we'll do it. Volume fraction of air. Can change it this one is providing volume fraction of air for viewing this trajectory we have made this uh, triangle transparent let's go and hide this part and we'll do one thing like uh, want to see this in a different way so cut plots clear and hide I'm going to see this class was only again cut pause show and we want to change this one in the previous way like I want to see in the fraction of butane okay we want to see from the results itself like this transient explorer where you see let's see the transient explorer it will show the transient explorer for a specific time. So we have we decided initially the 
solution for 10 seconds. This one is mass fraction of air. So what we do is we'll change the mass fraction of butane from air itself. We'll change the mass fraction of butane. Next one, we want to see what run this transindex row. As transindex row is running, so we can see that how these your particles are moving inside and this transindex row is showing 0 0.7 seconds only. So how the volume fraction of air is increasing and that of butane is decreasing. So you can see from here itself like volume fraction of air is increasing from 0 to 7 seconds and by the same time the volume fraction of uh, air is increasing and volume fraction of butane is decreasing, right? do one thing like uh, we can change the flow pattern a little bit so what we'll do is let's edit definition for this pattern clear on hide cut right to one edit definition which is the pattern of vectors so what we'll do is uh, maybe we'll change the lines we'll make it it will move away, distance away. Okay. And transparency will make it little less transparent. Now let's see these things. So we'll change it to mass fraction of air and let's start simulating these things. Okay, let's stop it here. Okay, let's clear and hide this part. Now we can do one thing like we can go for the surface plots again. Insert surface plot and that we want to see throughout the surface all faces we want to see. Mass fraction of air we want to see. Let's provide gain check through that one. This is showing mass fraction of air. We can change it to mass fraction of butane also. Let's do it. Mass fraction of butane. Again, this one we can show in the form of animation, like a transient explorer. Really showing how mass fraction of butane is changing. It's showing throughout the surface. You can see if this one from the front view itself, it will be better for our understanding. This was done only for 0 0.07 seconds. Okay, so let's stop this one. So, our surface ports, let's clear and hide this part. Now we want to see our surface goals. Insert the surface goals. We want to see the all the goals and show it. You can see that volume version of air is 14.83% and that of butane is 85.17%. Uh, that is done within uh, 0 0.07 seconds. You can see that initially we have conducted near about 12,000 numbers of iterations and Within that, you can see that volume fraction of air has increased from 0% to approximately 15%, and that of butane has come down from 100% to 85%. So, this is the results we got from simulation. Now, you can see the things like uh, four trajectories, how the air particles will be moving inside this one that can be checked. So, we're starting with the flow trajectories here. And here the numbers of this air particle will make it from 20 to 60 
numbers your particles and we want to see in this in the form of arrows only and mass fraction of butane we want so what we'll do is from here itself i better to cut this one and then check it so for better selection we can cut it from from a specific pen front pen now we'll apply the location for this flow trajectories so starting this one flow trajectories insert and the thing is one two instead of 20 numbers we want to make it 60 numbers and instead of pipes we want to see in the form of arrows only and mass fraction of butane we want to see right let's select the location Check. it's done now it appears to be okay right so we'll see this simulation okay so let's start this one simulation particle studies let's play it You can see here how the air particles are moving from this end and inside this chamber. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. If you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.